Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Blue Inks comparison, and this is Blue Inks comparison video number two. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some inks. So the first ink we're going to swab up today is Diamine Skull and Roses, and this is a German exclusive ink. So let's do an ink swatch here. Now this is quite a saturated ink, the Diamine Skull and Roses, so I will add a little bit more ink to it just to get that what will be effectively sheen coming out of this ink. So this is Diamine and it's Skull and roses which is a very nice very blue ink but it's a very saturated sheeny ink as well the next ink is diamine and this is a Colt pens exclusive in the UK and this is Maureen so again we'll do another ink swatch here and again this is another saturated heavily saturated ink from diamine and when I say saturated that means that the ink is most likely going to sheen a lot so this is diamine Maureen the next ink is a Robert Oster ink and this is Robert Oster blue water ice so we'll do another ink swatch here and you'll see that this is a lot more lighter color blue ink compared to the other two diamine inks which are very almost sort of they're a blue almost going on a purpley with with the sheen so this is Robert Oster and it is blue water ice which is actually quite a nice blue color it's actually an ink that I use quite a bit as well as much as I like the sheening inks I tend not to use them as much because they are very difficult to unfortunately get out of a lot of pens when cleaning the next ink is another Robert Oster and this is Australian sky blue so we'll do an ink swatch here and again this is another ink that I like using a lot because it's a very light blue ink so we'll do a writing sample here so this is Robert Oster and it's Australian sky blue but that for me is a beautiful blue ink and I have to say if you can see that I have about half a bottle of that left because it really like literally if I hold the bottle upright it comes to just about here on the bottle so I am using a lot of that ink and I may have to get another bottle sometime soon the next ink is a Pilot Orochizuku ink and this is Azageo so again we'll do another ink swatch here now this ink is quite a punchy blue I also find that it's a cross between a saturated ink but also a dry ink as well so sometimes you do need it in a wet nib so this is Pilot Iroshizuku 
and it's Azageo. And I sometimes think that this could be a fairly good alternative to Noodler's Base State Blue. The next ink is a Parker ink and it's Parker Quink and it's blue. So we'll do another ink swatch. And I kind of find as this ink goes on that it's a little bit more on the sort of purplish blue. It'll be interesting to see how well this dries. So we'll do a writing sample. This is Parker Quink Blue. The next ink is a Pelican Edelstein ink and it's Pelican Edelstein Sapphire. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now this is more of a purple I would say than a blue but I thought I would include this anyway because you do get varying shades and, and hues of different colours so you can get some blues that tend to be a little bit more on the purpley side and some purples that also tend to be a little bit more on the blue side so we'll do a writing sample so this is Pelican Edelstein Sapphire it's two P's the next ink is a diamine as a blue so we'll do an ink swatch I do find that this can be a little bit more on the dry side as well. So we'll do a writing sample. So this is Diamine and it's Azza Blue. And then the last ink is another sapphire ink and this is Diamine Sapphire Blue. So this is where I mentioned that you can get some inks that are more blue and some the more purple so we'll do an ink swatch here and this is a very dry ink so I'm going to try and get this a little bit more saturated there you go so this is diamine Sapphire Blue. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So the first one is Diamine Skull and Roses, and you can see there it's it's a blue ink, but it tends to become a little bit more purple because of the sheer amount of red sheen on it. You could just see that there. So that is a very, very high sheening ink. And then we have Diamine Maureen, which I would say is a lot more blue, more lighter, more traditional blue. But again, Maureen does have quite a bit of sheen, but nowhere near as much sheen as Diamine Skull and Roses. So if you're looking for blue sheening ink that just sheens a little bit, then maybe Diamine Maureen might be a better option there. And then we have Robert Oster Blue Water Ice. And this has quite a bit of shading going on there that you can see. There's no sheen though, but you can see in the darkened areas where the ink is pulled. And I think that actually sort of makes for a good shading ink and then we have Robert Oster Australian Sky Blue and this is quite a nice shading ink and it's not a sheening ink but a shading ink you can probably see there on the lettering there and also the darkened areas here that it does actually shade quite well then we have Pilot 
of Washizuku as a Geo. And again, this is a, another ink. It's more of a darker blue ink. But this tends to shade a little bit more. And you can see there, it's probably a little bit more sheen as well. I don't know if I can get this on camera here. It's very hard. But there is some some red sheen around these areas here and finding very difficult to probably try and show you that maybe that that's probably a good bet there of the sheen that that is appearing so it does have a little bit of sheen but not a lot and then parker blue and again this is another sort of mid blue but again this does have some sheen going on there that you can see so even Parker Blue has Sheen. So so that's quite interesting. Now I would have thought Parker Quink Blue would have been more of a vintage safe pen, but clearly it is quite saturated to a point where it will sheen a little bit. And then the last three inks, we have Pelican, Edel Sign, Sapphire, and you can see here that that has a huge amount of shading going on. Uh, it doesn't really have any sheen going on there. And then we have Diamine as a blue. And that does actually have a bit of sheen. Actually, maybe there's a slight sheen there on Pelican Edelstein Sapphire. But there's certainly more sheen there on Diamine as a blue. And then we have Diamine Sapphire blue. And that has some shading going on not a huge amount i'd say it's more of a it's more of a bluer ink than maybe the pelican edel sign sapphire uh there isn't any sheen going on there either so that's my blue inks comparison number two video if there are any blue inks here that you like then do let me know in the comments below and likewise if there are any inks that I haven't featured yet then do let me know in the comments below and maybe I can pick them up in readiness for a new video. So that's my blue inks comparison number two video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.